Filmora 14.3.2 was just released and I'm gonna show you some of its newest features, such as their video AI co-pilot and their photo to video feature. Now Filmora has been pressing for a lot of AI features to help users like us create videos within minutes and sometimes even within seconds, which is why they created something called Filmora Copilot. So within Filmora right here, we are now looking at the timeline. I have a bunch of clips here, travel content clips here. And let's say I want to apply effects to all of these clips just by telling Filmora what to do. Now with all the clips selected by hitting Command A on a Mac, you can go to Video Copilot. This dialogue prompt will pop up and right here we have some presets such as audio adjustments, picture adjustments, and so forth. So if I click on picture adjustment, so you can see this text pops up and you can adjust this text, but right now you are telling Filmora to play with the video speed control with a playback speed of 0.5. So if I just click on send, it's gonna automatically apply half speed to all of the clips within the timeline. And of course we can undo that effect and I can go back to picture adjustment and we can actually change some other effects such as color. So again, I'm gonna select all of the clips within Filmora's timeline here. I'm gonna type in picture and I'm just gonna type in black and white. Then click on send and let's see what happens. And boom, look what it did. It applied the black and white effect to all the clips. Obviously we can make some minor adjustments to make it look even better, but as you can see, it gives us that vintage feel. Now you can kind of get a feel of what Video Copilot is made for. You can really, especially if you're a beginner, you can really make some easy adjustments that will make your editing process a lot easier. So we're gonna go back to Video Copilot and let's say I want to make a format adjustment. So we're gonna perform a mirror flip on, let's say the first clip right here. I'm gonna click on send. And as you can see, it performed a mirror clip when I do the undo effect. So it completely flipped the image around. And that basically sums up what Video Copilot can do. It can also help you find different help articles with Infomora. So if you're trying to learn the program, you can use Copilot to help guide you in that process. I actually wanted to change the white balance and the Copilot recommended that I also apply a filter. So it was really easy to access different filters and just play around with the overall aesthetic of this footage. And that's another impressive feature of Copilot right there. Now on top of Filmora's Copilot, you can also use AI sound effects and a bunch of other cool video effects powered by AI. I made a ton of different tutorials on that, so make sure you check out the card right here to access those videos. Now a really cool thing within Filmora's AI is converting photo to video. So I'm gonna click off of this timeline here, I'm gonna discard my changes, and I'm gonna go to the toolbox option right here. And this toolbox is gonna give you a ton of features such as smart cutout, AI color palette, AI video enhancer, auto reframe, just so many different tools that hopefully I get to show you in future tutorials. And I'm gonna click on image to video. You're gonna really like this. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of little presets. You can see that this is a horror preset and what it does is it animates any photo in either vertical or landscape format. So I'm just gonna select a theme right here. Let's do struck by lightning and I'm gonna find a photo. I have a photo right here and I'm just gonna select the frame. You can select your different resolution and format settings right here at the top. You can even flip the photo around. I'm gonna click on submit. It's gonna upload it to Filmora's cloud and make the animation. So let's see what it comes up with. So it looks like it finished the animation of the photo. Let's see what it did. I'm just gonna drag and drop it into my timeline. I'm gonna match the resolution to the photo and let's see what it did. <laughs> Look at that face. It actually did a really, really good job, especially with her face. I mean, look how real that looks. That looks like a real facial expression of someone who just got hit by lightning. That's the effect that we use. So yeah, 
pretty fun. You can definitely do some cool social media videos with that, some cool animations overall. So yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you check out Filmora. You can try it for free, see if you like it. I love it, I use it a lot. Uh, yeah, check out that link, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.